All right, hello, folks. Let me get this chat thing out of the way here. Uh, hey, folks. So I am live here at the Raleigh Pin Show in uh, 2019. We are here at the Hilton Garden Inn. And uh, so if you're in the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area, maybe even Charlotte, uh, Greensboro, of course, come on down and uh, check out this pin show. It's a fairly small show. It's got about 70 tables. Um, and it's actually gotten very quiet here <laughs> recently. I think people have just decided that it's afternoon and they should go get some food because this, uh, this pin show is open today. Um, it opened up at like to the public at 1 and it goes until 7. So it's a long day. Uh, there is a pin show this weekend, Becky. Welcome. Um, so this is going to be my typical uh, walk around show. They're not going to be running me out of town and uh, most vendors are here. So that's kind of great for, uh, for the show. Hey, Alexander, welcome. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started. I'm going to be fairly quiet. I hope y'all can hear me here, uh, at this volume because, um, Nick Pang is teaching a class just down the way. Hey, uh, Anna, how's it going? So I'm being kind of quiet so we don't, uh, I mean, other people are being loud, but I'm not trying not to contribute. Sounds good? Dope. And I hope the video is good. It seemed like I had very strong, uh, uh, strong internets in the room. So we should be good. All right. So... Hey, had a good time last week? Good, glad you're back. All right, this is going to be a lot different from last week. So as you come in here, um, we're actually down a hallway uh, a bit um, from the entrance, which is over that way. Uh, and so, hey, and so when you come in, you've got the uh, PCA pins for kids in front of you. Uh, the registration table is right over here. There's nobody standing in front of it or behind it right now, but um, I think it's just because it's calm. Um, there are some pin sales and things going on here. And you have Ryan Krusak right here at the entrance. His girls are here as well, uh, Sylvia and Zoe. And they are here uh, to uh, they're selling pin wraps and all kinds of cool stuff. They have their oblique holders here. They're all down at the end of the table. Um, so they have all kinds of cool stuff here. These are the little pins. These are the L14s, or uh, 12s, I think, actually. Hey, right there. These kind of smoky ones. Hey, Tony, what's up? And these beautiful orange ones. Let me see he's here. Thanks. <laughs> he's just gotten some very nice labradorite, he says. Hey, Joan, welcome. So and more stone pens are coming soon. And this one with like these crystal inclusions, I think it's very neat. Got some clipped and unclipped pens there. Scrimshaw stuff here and all kinds of varieties. Got some pin cases and Italian stationery. These are the ones that are handmade. <laughs> hey, Bill, welcome. Uh, these are some handmade pin cases here by Sylvia and Zoe. This is Zoya. You can find them online here. Right there. Hey, Aiden, welcome. Hey, how's it going? I haven't even gotten to really see you this whole show, but now we're on camera. <laughs> I was just telling you about your awesome pen cases. We have a new one. Yeah, what do you have this new? This one is the oblique nib holder. So it's just a normal pen pouch, just closes up normally, and then it's got a pocket on the front to hold your nibs right on. so that it won't get damaged. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so. And your oblique holder fits in that side. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And this? Thanks. Yeah. The what? Oh, yeah, the frog. <laughs> You'll love the frog. And here, this is uh, Joe Nemechek here, and he is talking about uh, all kinds of very old pencils. These aren't for sale. This is just his collection of cool things that he wants to talk to people about. But these are Victorian and all manner of age ranges and some very very cool stuff in here hey joe how's it going i got a question for you what do you got i'm more on video you use the expression yeah no i grew up in yeah no in a <laughs> bohemian household oh, really? half bohemian <laughs> yeah no was a great ex i can't even say it anymore what <laughs> does it mean are you oh yeah no uh it means a yellow yes and a little no but i can't remember the text the yeah, no, is, uh, is I'm affirming that I hear what you're saying, but what I'm saying is no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, is what that means, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm glad that's uh, not something I made up. It's something I picked up somewhere, I'm sure. This is all on camera. Oh, it's all on camera, bud. It's all on camera. Point at this young lady, this pretty gal. Are you over here learning about pencils? Yeah. <laughs> She's doing a magnificent job, too, I must say. Thank you for stopping by. I'm honored that people would take pictures of this well, stash. Look at these. I mean, look at these. I don't, some of these are super cool. The turtle. The is like, oh yeah. my god. And then there's this lobster claw down yep. in here. That, yep. I mean, a magnificent rifle. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And is that a like a rowboat a couple up from the it's rifles? A With oars. <laughs> of course. Well, you can't get very far if you don't have the oars. How about this guy? And that's a pencil? Or is that that's a pencil. Pen? How does it work? It pulls out <laughs> with... It's being obstinate? It's being obstinate. It knows it's on camera. Yep. There you go. <laughs> thanks, Joe. Well, thanks for stopping by. Of course. But just tons of pencils. And then over here, we've got a good area for sitting down, getting some rest from the show. Uh, there are no chairs inside. You've got Nick Pang over here at the end. He's doing, oh, hey, welcome, Spain. He's doing uh, a copper plate or italic. I'm not exactly sure what he's going to be doing. Uh, but he's been doing a class. I think it's like an all afternoon sort of class. And this is how you get into the show. Right there. Um, <laughs> Actually, I need to return a text right quick. Um, hold on just a sec. I'm not sure what's... Let me just go uh, zip to the back and talk to Audrey right quick. This is going to be, a, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a, a quick walkthrough, and then we'll go back through. Hey, Brian, welcome. That's Terry handing out cookies. Good man. A little bit of energy. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? Here you go. Hey, Audrey, um, can you text Julie to Bully? She's texting me about the dog thing, and I can't do it because I'm live. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. <laughs> I hope so. Just got to make sure. <laughs> We're going to make sure the dog is taken care of. Scraggles is at home, and uh, we have somebody checking in on her, so that's who's texting right quick. Do you have her number? I hope. This is Mike waits for confirmation that Audrey actually has our dog sitter's uh, or our dog looker after her number. You got it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, just text her and be like, "Hey, what'd you say to Mike? He's doing live thing and he can't talk." <laughs> Thanks. Just send her a text. Oh, who cares? I don't, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, we're good. Now let's go back to the other side of the uh, the other side of the ballroom here. Let's see, spill ink on the carpet, never know it. That's true for sure. At the Van Ness table, yeah, a little bit. Mark the carpet from it. Yeah, sorry, folks. That's uh, not usually how it goes. Okay, so all right, so you come in this door. This is actually the only entrance to the show, and uh, over here. You know, very gross. He's got all kinds of uh, handmade writing instruments, boxes and such. We have the Tasha table over here with ink and uh, uh, fancy pens. We've got Armoni, Armando Simoni Company, the ASC folks. Uh, Manu's here somewhere, but he's not at the table at the moment, so that's all covered up. We've got uh, the pen man Tom Bailey and Hong here, who is just looking at pencils. <laughs> he's got the pen man banner down there. Uh, over here, hey Jack, how's it going? Uh, we ha started in, uh, let's just go in here uh, sort of counterclockwise, I guess. Uh, we've got Main Street pins here with uh, Ron and Robin. Ron is one of the best repair people around, so if you have some repairs you need doing. There's a Tyler Dowdy and Elizabeth Dowdy. Oh man, we got so much Inception going on here. <laughs> nice. So come see them for pin repairs and also a few sales. We're going to check out this glass cabinet, always full of cool restored stuff. 
And we've got Howard here with some Bexley gear and also some nice vintage stuff on the table. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but I will. Come over here and check out Bexley pens. If you haven't seen Bexley pens, they're made in the USA and they're one of the bigger um, like USA makers. Probably, uh, well, I don't know how they rank in terms of size, but fairly big. And we've got Crazy Allen's Emporium. This is uh, three tables of stock brought out from the store. Hi, welcome. They've got inks, paper, pens of all kinds, a few pencils here and there, some Leuchtturm pencils here as well. Uh, but you'll find new stuff and old, as well as a whole lot of paper here at this table. I may have to refill my Rhodia stash, but he's kind of our local guy, so I don't, uh, you know, I get to go to his store every once in a while. I want to do one of these live uh, broadcasts from his store. I just haven't been able to work it out yet. But he's got Perkios, he's got Pilots, he's got Cross, he's got some really nice vintage stuff here as well. Some Lamy. Look at this Karanda Osh. Very fancy. He's got a very nice uh, Roaching 600 Newton with a gold nib there for sale. He had a few of those at one point. Looks like he's only got the one here. We've got some uh, dual folds and all that jazz. Two gems. Mont Blanc Alexander the Greats and a Roachering one. I don't even know what that Roachering is. I'm going to have to go see that. I'm not going to buy it at $1,300, but I'd like to see what it is. <laughs> he's got a couple of adorable pelicans. You can have a grumpy cat if you like. <laughs> Hi. This is Andy Lambro's table. He has all kinds of cool pens. Let's just take a quick uh, look right here. He's got blanks. I don't think these are actually usually for sale. These are for order in general. Oh wow, that's really pretty. That's got to be a collaboration with uh, 181811 or whatever it is. Uh, Yoshi. Some beautiful metalwork pens. All kinds of cool stuff. Books and such. And ah, there's Manu. He's the guy behind ASC. These are the Dolos tables. I always find something good at Jimmy's table. Jim and Yas. Yeah, they're around here somewhere. I was just talking to them before I took off to, uh, to do this video. There's this beautiful vermilion. I really like that pen. All kinds of nice Viscontis and such. He makes really good deals on Viscontis, so if you want a Visconti, come see Jimmy. Also, look at these uh, custom Arushis from Pilot here. Holy crap, that's a big pen. Just for scale, uh, here is an 823 next to the custom Arushi. I mean, just absolutely dwarfs it. And he's got both colors of, uh, of the 823 here. These both are the US ones. All kinds of uh, limited edition Pelicans and Mont Blancs and such. The full line of Leonardo's, I believe. Mont Blanc limited editions. There's the Dolev right there. Including this Beatles edition. Super cool and huge. Oh. The new ASC. Africa, you said? Looks cool. Yeah, yeah. Some Montegrappa rocket pins here. It's like a whole set of them in a case. They're <laughs> doing business very seriously. <laughs> and the Van Ness table is here. Yeah, the Bologna is here. cool. <laughs> she was trying to look cute with you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Camera ready. Uh, I have it on good authority that Elizabeth's been hanging out down here instead of helping out her dad, who we'll see later. I mean, look, if I had to choose. I mean, you got to dance with the one who brung, you brought, right? That's, uh, I don't know. It's, no? <laughs> she was over there for lunch. I saw that. If there's food involved. Uh-huh. Yeah, good. <laughs> You can probably just make out a, uh, a very bright suit. We'll try to get closer. I call it Saved by the Bell. Yeah, that's pretty Saved by the Bell. Yeah, all right. You can see that. Also, here is uh, Evan Max. What's up, Evan? How's it going? Awesome, man. Uh, they have all sorts of... Do what? Why am I here? I don't know. Yeah, it's pe 
people. It's a pin show. You get pins too, but you're mostly here for people, right? Oh, some new Perkyo varieties, I see. Yeah, I've been calling this letter. Do they have absurd names like the other ones? Of course. Yeah? But I don't call them those names. No? Isn't the, um, like the black and red, or per, uh, pink and red ones, like Bad Decision or something yeah. like that? Nice. Makes it real easy to sell. I feel like this should have been a bad decision. Yeah, that's, that's the one I like the most because it's totally hideous. Um, but chartreuse, I mean, who doesn't need that, right? Yeah. <laughs> these are new from Peniter. Oh, yeah? Tell us about these. New from Peniter, eh? Yeah. It's all black. Yeah, it is. And it's got the magnetic cap. Of course. That honeycomb like is real nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. And this is the mystery filler. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Have you shown off your stickers? You're showing no. off everything else. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. See, we should have put one on before the video. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I show them every once in a while. They want to have my face sticker over their shoulder. Just put it on the wall over there. Nobody will. It'll be fine. <laughs> They'll be like, we'll find this guy. <laughs> the walls of ink and paper here. Ackerman. They have some of the Joey Feldman rickshaws, which are very cool. <laughs> I was talking to Lisa about these earlier. I've got a couple of, uh, couple of things of paper for review, but this cabinet is full of all kinds of crazy stuff that she's picked up <laughs> recently. Some of which she was surprised to find in here, including these little tiny notebooks called Recent Memo. Look at these little tiny things. Yeah, which are apparently made by life. There's only one place where it says anything about that, and it's here on the back, right by the barcode. You can barely make out this life uh, logo, like down here. I mean, it doesn't even come up in the YouTube, like it's so out of focus that YouTube can't catch it. But these little guys are just stuffed inside of one another. But um, I'm looking forward to those. I've got one of those for review. And also, these guys, what were these called? Ghost paper. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it's easier to see on the stationery. We'll see. Yeah, you can see it, I think. So these aren't actually printed. They're, what is it, embossed? Debossed? It's got to be... It's probably debossed is the word for that. So you get ridges instead of uh, printed lines on the pages and they have they're going to be having uh, dot pads and stuff oh i had it backwards yeah so it's embossed this way and debossed this way i guess you can choose we're right it doesn't matter which one we choose it's which side of the paper yeah right and it has uh, you know envelopes and stuff with it which uh yep there you go you can see the the embossing there too so uh yeah that's really cool it's a small company uh they have these in um the stationary style they have um uh, these ringed notebooks, they have bound notebooks, pretty reasonably priced too. I think these are what, 15? Yeah, 15 is not bad for these notebooks, I don't think. I think a, yep, fountain pen friendly. I haven't had a chance to check it out, but Lisa says it's true. I'll believe her. For now. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and Frog Ink, um, which is down here. Just for the show, it's not going to be online? Uh, it's online right now until we run out. Okay, so it's online now until it runs out. Um, Mike decided on this himself. He chose this all himself. This is all Mike's doing, she says. Uh, I get the feeling she's blaming him a little bit for this. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of shimmer in this. Let me see if I can catch some of the shimmer. Hold on just a sec. Let me grab this. Yeah, so a bunch of gold shimmer in this uh, nice bright green ink. And uh, it looks like this. It's organic studio ink. And it just has a frog emoji. There's actually no name. Well, I guess it does say frog on the side. But, yep, the frog emoji is the name of this. So, nice. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, they have uh, sets of Monteverde inks. They have Colorverse. Krishna has new boxes that are actually way more descriptive than they used to be. They have pictures on them and names instead of just being a cardboard box, which is a major improvement. Uh, we've got Robert Oster. We've got Three Oysters. KWZ. Uh, Tasha, all kinds of things here. Got some of those recent memo books were nice. How do you like them, Tony? Have you used them? <laughs> there's, uh, there's Mike with his suit we were just talking about. You can't miss him from across the room. There's my lovely wife, Audrey, the nib doctor over here doctoring nibs for Franklin Kristoff. There's a Kimberly. <laughs> we have uh, 
the Franklin Kristoff tables here in the back corner. Of course, you haven't used them yet. Yeah, that tracks. There's a, there's a Robo Gym right there. And uh, Sandra here as well. WF Cupcake Girl. She had cupcakes earlier. I haven't, I didn't get one, but she had cupcakes. Uh, I have the lemon ones. No. Okay, I'll get a lemon one. Yes, but the chocolate stout will be tomorrow. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's, that's Fuel Rod Nuclear, I think, right there, yeah. Fuel Rod Green, yeah. Here's the prototype trays, or what's left from the prototype trays. Actually, a fair amount. It does look at it, it's like caramel or something, yeah. Or maybe like a butterscotch caramel, uh, I don't know, some nuts. I, it looks delicious, yeah. <laughs> Doing some pin show photography here. Uh, but yep, find all these here. Oh man, watch out for the credit cards. Hey. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> some more prototypes and such. Up your flux capacitor? Yeah, it would. Nice melon shirt? Yep. Showing off his melons. Oh, hey, this is a new thing uh, that I didn't actually even know about, but Franklin Kristoff has a new ink at the show today. Hey, Ulysses, what's up, what's up man? Hey, how you doing, Mike? Good. Yeah, do you think? <laughs> Most awkward handshake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's this new one. This is Graphite 4B. I'm available now. I haven't even had a chance to play with that. I just heard about it today, so brand new. Scott likes to surprise people with things like that. Uh, Scott was here earlier. He's not here at the moment, it doesn't appear, but I'm sure he'll be around this weekend if you're looking to meet that guy. Looks like, uh, yeah, there's one or two Graphite 4Bs left. Uh, and they have all their nib testers and all that sort of thing out here, and ink testers, in indeed. You can check those out. Next up, we have Mark Backus, the nib grinder, now serving number seven. He's been now serving number seven for about six hours, so I think he just forgot about his sign up there. Uh, he's uh, over here grinding nibs. Definitely come see him in the back here. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Awesome. Haven't seen you in a while. I know. I've been busy doing wedding stuff. Hi. There she is. Soon to be married. Soon to be married. <laughs> this is Brad the Penetic Dowdy. You may have heard of him from the internet. <laughs> His cases and such. Playing this super popular Sinclair here. With the blue, gray, and red. Uh, he has a few of the Coleman's from uh, Atlanta show here in the green and orange, and also the brand new Coleman for this show, which is like electric blue and canary yellow. Super nice. Um, I'm actually going to do a video on these because uh, they're going to be showing up at pin shows. He says he has the next three planned, and we'll see where it goes from there. But um, those, uh, I wasn't originally going to review them because they were going to be a you know one show thing, but. Uh, since you can get your hands on them, maybe I'll actually do some reviewing. You know, brass towns, seed notebook covers, pencil cases, uh, some new notebooks here as well. It's a banana for scale if you need to check out the sizes oh, good. of anything. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> it's the perfect scale, banana. Okay, yeah. okay. Good. Perfect. <laughs> uh, new knock stickers. In case you need a very Nintendo looking knock here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have so far. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like old timey Nintendo to me. Yeah. Like uh, GameCube yeah. Nintendo yeah, the a little 64, bit. Like the old, like 64, yeah, the 64. Like, that's the one I was thinking yeah. of. Yep. Nailed it. <laughs> These are packed full of full of pins in here. I actually use mine inside out, which is fun. <laughs> You've got me interested in that now. You got to try the inside out way, man. That's the. Uh, I might be. Yeah. This is good for carrying it around, but the inside out is good for the desk. Yeah. That's where I use mine, so. Yep. Yep, same. What are we uh, what are we unboxing here? Uh, Tyler wanted the Monteverde uh, Caribbean blue ink, so this is solid choice. Yeah, um, he's gonna buy a Safari later. So he's on Team Safari. I'll need to give him one of my pens. And this is the ink he chose for it, so cool. but I'm I'm stealing the first uh, I'm stealing the first sip because I got a pen too. Okay. Don't drink the ink. <laughs> 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 Next up, we have Martin's Pins 51. Martin is uh, another restorer. Hashtag Team Safari. Bah. <laughs> beer Cozy plus Pins. You know, if you put a beer in it, you actually can't fit pens, is a thing. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Is Brad going to San Francisco? I don't know. Brad, you going to San Francisco? Yep, he'll be there. 
GC, San Fran, and Dallas is the rest of the year. And uh, yeah, I'll be at all those too. So we'll be seeing more bread for sure. We got uh, Martin's Pins 51s. He's got all kinds of good pins and such out here, including a couple of very nice desk cases. Uh, one of which I might have my on, my eye on. Deborah, yeah, we'll see you there. Even inside out, Coleman can't fit beer and pins. Um, usually the pins are too big to go in the um, uh, in the, the the pin holders when you have a beer in there. It fills it out too much. We were discussing ways possibly to get around that in order to expand it a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we have some beautiful vanishing points. It's cool jotters, other pilots and such. Estabrooks, including the new Estabrook cases. And here, let me show you the inside. I had these on the, um, I had these in Atlanta as well. Thanks. There's the inside, very fancy. It's a um, uh, pleather cover, no animals harmed in the making of. There's some very nice uh, fabric on the inside. All kinds of restored vintage there. Oh, these pins came from Soothing Worth Collection. All right, well, these are going to be uh, pretty cool and interesting pins then, knowing Susie. <laughs> and over here, we're getting into Deb Kinney's area, another great grinder. This show is just lousy with really good grinders and cool pins that have been uh, restored and ground. Here. There's uh, Deb and Sarah Jane back there taking a bit of a break. Hey, folks. Hey, Deb. Oh, <laughs> so she's been kept busy over here. You can see from all the scribbling on her pad. They also have various inks and such, noodlers and diamine and whatnot over here for sale. All on sale, you say? Oh, I'll ink ten bucks. All right. All right. <laughs> Just trying to get rid of it, huh? Tired of carrying it around, she says. Esperg is the worst. Uh, okay, now I want to record a video. I'm gonna. <laughs> well, sorry about that, Sheriff from the Inkwell. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, please. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no ranting in uh, in here, por favor. Uh, here we have uh, points pins. Larry and Hillary are here. All kinds of good write notepad stuff. I've been using some of this write notepads. I got my mom some write notepad stuff for her uh, for Mother's Day, uh, including uh, actually the reporter's notebook here and also the landscape uh, ruled pad. These landscape pads are actually awesome to have in front of your keyboard uh, because they're sort of the perfect amount of space to write things on. The paper is very fountain pen friendly in those, and uh, it's a great format, I think. And also these, um, like especially the craft covers, like this brown one, are extremely thick, and uh, uh, you know you can you can stand up and hold them and write them with no problem at all. I haven't tried these personal note, these little journal notebooks. But I might have to get a couple. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, probably will. Oh dang, they have the from the deep. Hold on a sec. That's these. These are awesome. And uh, I'm gonna have to get some of these. In fact, hey. Can you put this back there for me to come back for? Thanks. <laughs> I walk around, I'm like, I want one of these, and I come back and it's gone every time, so I'm being proactive. <laughs> awesome, thank you. <laughs> also, these, uh, these cool desk signs, which I just got an email about and saw on, um, on Instagram a couple of times. You can order them, 16 bucks each, custom for 20 bucks, and they make these uh, awesome little tiles, the holders, I think these are really cool. Uh, free samples of the Ink Lover's Soap. I saw somebody use one of these not too long ago, and it seems like it worked pretty darn well, so that's good. They have additive pens now, which are these 3D printed pens with uh, helixes and other designs. Uh, some Conklins, some Monteverdes. They've got Twisbees going on here. There are um, new Magna Carta pens. Hey. <laughs> are we buying an Arrow, guys? All right, nice. Excellence uh, B? What is that one? A. Oh, it's the A? It's the skyline without the black. Right on. Yep, got to have the ink drop in there, yep. Yep. Uh, a couple new uh, things from the lower end line from Arrow, the Diplomat, or the, uh, from the 
Diplomat, the Magnum. These are sort of a shimmery red and blue, more metallic looking yeah. than the others. Otherwise, I'll take it home. <laughs> and uh, I'll have a review coming up on um, the Magnum soon. It's a really great pen for like 25 bucks and a fountain pen. Uh, so come see Larry and Hillary, go to Points Pens, and uh, you know, tell them I sent you. It's a good way to, good way to get the word out. Over here, we have the Kennedys. There's Linda Kennedy. She's doing uh, some repairs, having a cookie. So she's taking a little bit of a break and just uh, talking pens with people. Uh, but they have all kinds of cool Bexleys and such, as well as pen tuning tools and things you need to take care of your pens. Definitely worthwhile to stop over here. I've bought, I've bought several bits of tooling from them, actually, over the years. Yes. <laughs> Is the cliff you saying sorry to me as I'm joking in the video? Do what you want, man. That's cool. Uh, so let's start looking at the interior since we've done the exterior. Um, as I said, this is a relatively small show at only about 70 tables. Here's the sort of uh, the pan shot of the show. And like I said, it's actually pretty dead right now, which is weird. It was hopping earlier on today. So this is uh, this is Tom Bailey and Hong's table, pen ink, uh, the pin man is what he's been going by online. He has a crazy collection of pelicans of his own that he's been selling off in pieces sort of over the years, including some really impressive ones that you won't find elsewhere. Her small show has got great vendors. Yeah, totally does. Totally does. Got really good vendors here. There are a few vendors who weren't able to make it. Anderson Pens wasn't able to make it this year. Uh, Bertram's Inkwell wasn't able to make it this year. You know, a couple like that. But uh, great selection of makers. And so you want everything at Tom's table? Yeah, man. If uh, you need a Pelican, this is the guy to talk to. Also, he's a platinum uh, distributor now as well. So you can find those things from him. There's Tom Bailey, our resident pen man. Solid white gold from 1932. Works like a champ. You need one, Mike. I do? Yeah. I'm not sure. Like, maybe. <laughs> What's that one going for? It's well in the four digits. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe I don't need, maybe I don't, maybe I don't need one. Here's, here's Tom laughing at me. <laughs> I thought you'd buy two. Two? I, he doesn't have two. I mean, if I can't get two, I'm not going to get one. <laughs> now I am. Check these guys out. Then you have the much more normal versions, the 600s and 800s, the blue, red, uh, and green stripes. There's a set of the white stripe ones, or the transparent ones. You've got the pink, blue, lavender, and white stripes. Some beautiful pins in here. And he's got all kinds of good stuff here. Also, bowls of candy, that's right. Steal the red M800 for, for Brian. Yeah, I'm not going to steal from a local guy. <laughs> Pick one, 25 bucks. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff, cool stuff here at Allen's table, including this, which is a paper cutting set, which is pretty cool. If you're into cutting and scraping your own pages, it's like vellum and such. Cool history behind that. Victorian pencils, like we were looking at from Joe Nemechek earlier. Some uh, little Parker prototypes and such. It's like vector ballpoint prototypes. You never know what you're going to find over here at Allen's table. Come find them. Some things under glass. There's the, there's the front of an Allen. <laughs> still a little live YouTube. Yeah, we're still alive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh, it's too early to be barely. <laughs> All kinds of great vintage in here. I'm not going to get in these guys' way, but you can also find some really nice, uh, uh, nice watches and such. You're never sure what you're going to find at a fountain pin show. There's Paul Areno. I think what you need is a you need a bobblehead. To yeah, yeah, give him a little. Yeah, perfect. That will haunt your that's, dreams. That's not creepy at all. Not at all. I uh, should probably buy a half dozen. <laughs> Mr. Pin the Bobblehead. Mr. Pin the Bobblehead. Oh, man. Uh, more watches and vintage pencils. 
He's trying to talk me into liking pencils earlier on. We were talking about some nice soft lead I might be into. He's got boxes of vintage pencils, some discontinued, all kinds of stuff here underneath the table as well. Look at all these uh, pencil sharpeners, including this one. Look at this guy. That's a pencil sharpener, y'all. <laughs> Looks totally safe. Seems fine. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> some, some nice uh, cufflinks here. More and more restored vintage. And these beautiful dual folds, those mandarins. How about Look at this Lady Schaefer display? Really awesome set here. <laughs> You're fine, George. Thanks. Oh, a couple of Nakayas over here as well. And Decapod, indeed. Nakaya desk base there. That, that one's only a uh, only 650. That's not terrible. That might be in my range. This is Ross McKinney's table. Ross McKinney is uh, absent, <laughs> being brave, leaving uh, these pins on the table. I was looking at some of these earlier, and there are some really cool pieces in here. Hey, fellas. Going around the side. It's mostly sort of vintage here in this part of the middle. Flex and semi-flex here, all kinds of cool stuff at this table. He's got them arranged very helpfully by brand and by nib, which I think is a great thing to do if you're trying to draw people in. Got some ephemera here. It's, uh, these are Jerry Berg's pens. Jerry Berg is probably the best uh, Schaefer vac filler uh, repair guy around. He's the only one I trusted with my Schaefer vacs. Uh, did my grandmother's set for me. Did a beautiful job, made them like new. Got some really nice pin cases and pins over here as well, including desk pin sets. Some very nice uh, Omos and such. Oh, a whole bunch of Esterbrook nibs. I'm going to stop, stop back by here. Jessie Rain was here earlier, but she, uh, she had to go. She's on a family trip, so. Um. Hey, Hirsch. <laughs> Every show, it seems like I run into you. <laughs> David getting David getting into some danger. Just a Visconti. Just a Visconti. Just a little. Gold that's nib. that's real pretty. Yeah. Oh, gold nib, eh? Yeah. Oh, fully transparent. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> There's a Bijou Owl. <laughs> she apparently went to a seminar. Yeah, you find a lot of ephemera and stuff at these sales as well. I was hoping there'd be more pin cases. I haven't seen a ton of them. There are definitely some. You can always sift through some parts bins. Uh-huh. Careful when you're sifting through the parts bins. <laughs> some of them have nibs, maybe. And look at this quadruple pin case. <laughs> then, over here. This is Gary Lerner. He's got all kinds of cool stuff. Don't leave that at the AC Club table. Um, the thing is, Manu's not there, so it's kind of covered up. But if he comes back, I'll definitely swing back through. I'm not sure what he has out, but uh, we'll check it out. He's been walking around. So if he comes back to his table, I'll totally show it. <laughs> Here's a product that I keep forgetting to get, and that's pin mats. And these are already forms that you can cut them into your own shapes and that sort of thing to uh, make your own pin holders and boxes and turn your drawers into something useful. I need to grab some of those before I leave, or I will forget them again. Uh, fantasy snorkel pins, bringing back the 50s indeed. So these are all snorkel innards with a, uh, uh, a new outside, which is pretty darn nice. And all kinds of pin boxes and such. Here's those banks made from post office box doors. Really reminds me, these especially, uh, this one. This is just like my post office box when I was in college at SMU. So, very same boxes. I don't know. They probably still have them. Uh, this is, I want to say, probably Nick Pang's table. Uh, Nick's not here. He's teaching that seminar. But we've got folded nibs and oblique holders. This kind of stuff. You know, you know, looking at some stuff here. Oh, these are yours? Ah.
more and more vintage. These are all fantasy Parker 51s of various varieties. Let's see if he has the Monty Winfields out. Um, I don't see any. He probably put those away since he's not going to be here. We have Federalist pins and paper. Out of Philly. There's Federalist Frank himself. Uh, this is the vintage island in the middle of all the... Uh, uh, or sorry, the modern island in the middle of all the vintage sea here. Usually modern. Yeah, mo <laughs> I've just been talking for a while, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, man is out hustling. That's true. Uh, so we have everything here from Lamy, including the crystal or the um, these crystal inks. I've got a couple of these I'm going to review. Probably need to pick up another couple of them. Uh, but the ones I've used have been pretty darn nice. Uh, Monteverdes, Conklins. All kinds of diplomats and such. Everything from Paniter, Estabrook, Estes. Got the Platinums. What do you have this new here? Oh, Opus just in. Just in, new Opus 88. This is the new Omar model that everybody's talked about. Really nice. So the transparency you expect in the barrels from them. Yep. A nice uh, opaque uh, mineral style uh, yeah. cap. Yeah, I like that. I hate it when you can see the, through yeah. the cap on an yeah. pen. Yeah, it's good. But yeah, that's really nice, actually. And bigger than I thought they would be. Yeah, they're real nice. They're, they're a good size. They're yeah. actually really Man. wide, yeah. There it is next to this. Yeah. Yep. The Calora, yeah. So brown, purple, green, and orange in this new style. Yeah. So real nice. And uh, at 120 bucks. Same price good, point. Yep, good same price, price yeah. point as, as the large demos, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a, nice for them. Yeah. I think it's a much more refined pen, too. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Thanks, Frank. And he's got bins of ink out here. Let me get my finger out of the shot. Goodness. I did mess up my wrist a little bit, so I've been walking out with a wrist brace. Everybody's like, what'd you do to your arm? I'm okay. But my hand is getting a little bit tired from holding the camera, honestly. <laughs> they also have refills, all kinds of Robert Oster. you got your Gio Bonds. Uh, cartridge refills, pin cases. Hey, what do you got? Oh, you have Mario's uh, Mario's mats, yeah, huh? Yeah, man. We got the new colors. We got the the new blue, the new dark blue. Got that nice chocolate brown and the Ferrari red. You said you needed some. Uh, it's, uh, it's got some pop to it. Yeah. Oh, this green is nice too. Yeah, the green is nice. Uh, no orange, huh? <laughs> no, you're out of orange. No, yeah. no he's being. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. This, uh, this brown is very nice. These are all made out of recycled leather, too. They're a very comfortable writing surface. I need to, I'll probably come back and get one or two, because uh, I don't I don't want to have to try to fly with it, so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you'll keep a... Yeah, the dark blue is... Yeah. It's actually, I thought it was black until you put the black next to it. Yeah. Uh, but these are um, very comfortable writing surfaces. Class up your desk a little bit. Love the red, great for your desk. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of the way to go. Maybe it'll keep a little bit of the ink off my desk, too. That's nice and bright. I like it. I like it. Uh, they have Tomoe River here in pads and in, uh, I guess these are all pads and not loose leaf, which is good. The pads are, I think, a little bit better than the loose leaf. Stiff flexible, just piles of stiff flexible. A bunch of rhodia here, including, I've actually not seen this. What is this here? What's this thing? Oh, the essential box. Oh, look at that. Little rhodia pads, pencils. That's fun. And a writing box there. Uh, this is Jonathan Brooks' table. Jonathan is out. We've got a fig boot here uh, chatting. Um, Jonathan actually was having some health issues, and so he didn't have a chance to make pens. So uh, he brought all kinds of blanks to sort through. You find some new favorites there, David? Yeah. Oh, I check know. out. Look at that. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Does. It, it does look a little familiar. <laughs> that looks familiar. <laughs> in that too, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he actually made another one with a more vibrant Oh, blue. dang. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. I that. like that. I'm also digging this uh, this orange and the, like yellowy one right here and and uh, yeah, so these blanks are a problem for people. <laughs> here. So This is before and after. So that's the blank, and then that's what the pen turns into. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's always a little hard to say what's going to be inside one of those blanks, but it's it's not going to be less cool than it looks on the outside. <laughs> like the outside is always the most boring part of a blank, right? I can't tell you how many times someone has bought 
blanks from them, they've gotten the blanks. I'm like, this this isn't what yeah. I ordered. Just, just turn into it. Yeah. Just just turn it a so little just, bit. Just wait. <laughs> and they turn into it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Um, Jonathan had sent me a picture of the blank, and I was a little disappointed because I really like the blue more uh, more than the other color, the coppery. Yeah. And he said, just wait. Yeah, he just said, wait. just wait. It's equal. It's 50 50, and it's in there. And I, I said, okay, I trusted him. And, and it turned out well. And Jonathan, someone you can trust. And uh, yes, it turned out amazing, and I love it. So uh, he has those. He also has a bunch of vintage stuff as well for materials, including rod stock. I think these were on the Schaefer Balance. Yep. Um, I think these were another Schaefer Balance material. Uh, this, just for a history lesson, this kind of is really cool. When they made these rods, um, they had all the materials kind of loose flakes, I guess is the best way to call it. And then they would press them together in the into these molds. And the little pieces you see sticking out here are kind of where, as the press came down and squished the material together, it kind of oozed out of these little side areas. So a little bit of history lesson. <laughs> so if you come to the show, he doesn't really have pins for sale, it seems. Just mostly uh, things you can order, and you can pick blanks, all kinds of materials here to go through. So I have some of his personal stuff here. And if you want to see what these look like, um, show my face a little bit. If you want to see what these look like uh, as a pen, there are a bunch of us walking around here who have a bunch of his pens. And uh, so hunt one of us down, and we'll be happy to show you and let you play with them, because that's half the fun of a pin show, I think. All right. There we go. All right. So, moving around this way. Thanks, folks. Thanks. Going around this direction. <laughs> we have some family planning financial solutions here. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, I got another text from our dog checker, our dog watcher. Uh, some more restored vintage. Box sets, flex nibs. It's really beautiful overlays. Brian pretending not to eat. <laughs> this is Brian McQueen. He's an almost local pin restorer. Boy, look at all these pastel shafers up here. There we go. Let's come see Brian McQueen. He's a good dude. I've gotten a few of his pins. Here we have Bill Weekly's table. No Bill right now, he's out and about. He's got a little bit of everything here, including some pins made for him by Ryan Krusak. There's these. Pencils, oh, and some dual folds, which are actually fantasy dual folds. And he's got several of these in here you were talking about. But they have authentic uh, Parker parts but um, with bodies made in uh, different colors by Bexley. So sort of a, a fantasy dual fold. And these are going for, I think he said, like three to 500 bucks. So definitely uh, check out those because I love those Parker dual folds. And uh, getting some in different colors is pretty awesome too. Some more beautiful vintage, including a bunch of Estabrook in here. Right. Desk sets. Check out this painted one right here. A little maquillé, probably. <laughs> Hi, folks. How's it going? Great. Great. <laughs> it's, fun with, it's fun with flags time? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Teachers? No, no British, British people. Oh, British people. <laughs> Just put your flags there. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in Texas. I know about putting your flag yeah. everywhere. <laughs> We're in Texas. Oh, just south of Houston? South of Houston? Yep. Little town nobody's ever heard of. You know. What town is that? Alvin? Alvin? Yep. Like and the Chipmunks? Yeah, that's the look I usually get. No, no, no. <laughs> really? 
Could be. We're about half. Oh yeah, no, then probably yeah. Yep, sounds like something we'd have down there for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's the area. Yep, for sure. <laughs> and then you come out here and you know. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. <laughs> and then. That's more likely to be a decent barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have uh, Wood Wonders of NC. I just stopped by here before I started the video. And uh, they sell mostly through Instagram. So if you look them up, uh, Wood Wonders of NC on Instagram, uh, you can find Charlie's work there. Um, he started out making pit cans, uh, kit pins, he said, in about 2010. And uh, then he's moved on to kitless pins and resins and acrylics and diamond casts of all varieties. Uh, some of these really nice looking pens here. He's doing different shapes, uh, sizes. I think this orange one right here is pretty darn cool in the middle. Also, I really like these hourglass shaped ones. For whatever reason, those really call to me. And, uh, clipped, unclipped, frosted, all kinds of things here. Let me get down here into more kit pin territory. And, uh, and that's kind of it, folks. So that's been um, the whole pin show pretty well, except for, uh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't able to get back to ASC. Uh, Manu is still out doing stuff. Um, yeah, I'm sure, uh, John, I was talking to Jonathan earlier, and he's actually, I mean, he's here, he's around. Um, he had to get some, uh, some wisdom teeth work done, which is never fun. And uh, apparently uh, some of that's something he's still recovering from. So uh, that's why he uh, just wasn't at the lathe, because he's drugged up, and it's not a good idea to do lathing while you're drugged up. So. Uh, anyway, uh, he's, he's, he's doing okay, just it's a temporary setback, uh, but I'm, I'm glad he's here with all of his fingers and toes and legs and uh, no pins then the other direction. Uh, so uh, that's, that's, uh, that's been the show, folks. Uh, thanks for hanging out. It was a little bit shorter because it's a smaller show, but uh, still a very nice show, I think. Friendly, and uh, you get plenty of time to talk to vendors and that sort of thing, which is always great at pin shows. So... Um, yeah, so come and check us out. Uh, I'll be here all weekend. I've got merch with me there talking about my stickers and stuff. I've got stickers. I've got uh, cool little um, uh, pen rests like I was showing uh, on the live stream last week. Hey, Braden, welcome. And uh, oh, there we go, sitting down finally. Um, so anyway, come find me. I've got that stuff on me, and um, I'll see you around. 